In the ocean, it's not easy to take aim. Multiple species of fish swim alongside marine mammals, sea turtles and sea birds. When fishers try to catch their target animals, whether using handheld fishing rods or laying out nets or lines with hooks that can stretch for miles, other marine animals in the area can get accidentally caught or entangled. These can include fish that are the wrong sex or size, or fish species that are hard to sell, or a species that's illegal to catch because it's threatened with extinction. This is bycatch, and it's a conservation problem. Accidentally captured animals are generally discarded into the sea. Usually they are dead or have very poor odds of survival. And the scale is huge. Bycatch amounts to 40% of global marine catches according to one estimate. And it affects animal populations. For example, tens of thousands of dolphins get stuck in fishing gear each year and in most cases unable to surface to breathe, the dolphins die. Similarly, fishing gear with baited hooks kills albatrosses and other seabirds when they try to eat the bait, get caught on the hooks and drown. Researchers have identified bycatch as the single biggest threat to some large marine species like the Pacific leatherback turtle, the vaquita porpoise, the Amsterdam albatross, the Atlantic humpbacked dolphin and the Australian and New Zealand sea lions. The vaquita, the world's smallest porpoise for example, which lives exclusively in the Gulf of California, is down to fewer than 20 estimated individuals because it keeps getting entangled in gill nets meant to catch fish and shrimp. While all fishing gear types capture some bycatch, certain types are particularly problematic. These include gill nets, which are long walls of net that hang in the water trapping fish by their gills, long lines that can run for 50 miles or 80 kilometers or more bearing thousands of baited hooks and trawls, which are funnel-shaped nets that are pulled through the water, collecting everything in their path. But how much and what kinds of bycatch these gears trap depend on factors like how they are used, for how long and where. Fishers often don't like bycatch themselves. Non-target animals can damage their gear and also reduce their catch taking up space or hooks for the animals they actually want. So fisheries bycatch seems like a lose-lose situation. But the problem is complex. It's hard to monitor what's being caught and discarded far out at sea unless someone keeps a meticulous record. And such records are missing from many regions. This lack of data hinders accurate assessment of bycatch and its effects. Solving the problem of bycatch is hard, but people have been trying different approaches to reduce it. Examples include modifying fishing gear, like the size, shape or material of hooks, deploying equipment like the turtle excluder device, which allows some turtles to escape from nets, or warning animals away with visual or auditory signals. Yet, many of these advances are not mandatory in important locations or widely used. So fisheries bycatch remains a pervasive problem. Can it be solved?